What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. I'm going to uh, draft some Throne of Eldraine here. I'm pretty sure we don't know MTG Superfan 1983 because they created their account one minute ago. Which just goes to... Uh... <laughs> I'm going to read this one out loud because it's a good one. You are a life failure. Oh, dang it, it's already gone. I missed it already. I, it's like I'm a child, I'm a grown man child that plays with toys all day, I guess. That's, uh, it's really sad. I am the sad one, guys. For those watching at home, I am the sad one. Not MTG Superfan 1983, who created their Twitch.tv account one minute ago, simply to show up in this chat and make memes. Um, but it's me. It's me. I am the, the life failure. And uh, I'm going to take Escape to the Wilds because it seems pretty sweet. Actually, let me just take Scourge. Yeah, I'm going to take the Scourge card. Uh, oh, an Inspiring Veteran. It's like they want me to draft these Knights decks. I'm going to take Out Muscle because I really... Oh my god. This is really something, man. This is really something. Double Inspiring Veteran, huh? And a Fireborn Knight. I don't think... I think red is worse than, than white in this format. I don't know what to get here. I think it might just be... Oh, God. Two green cards, huh? I'll take the giant opportunity. I don't think we've had giant opportunity in a while. Wow, magic mirror and a... I wish the magic mirror was foil. I bet it's actually worth some tickets. Twelve tickets foil. We should be so lucky. Merchant of the Veil? I didn't think this pack was that great. Uh, Rose Thorn Acolyte's pretty good. Hmm. Magic Mirror scares me in limited because I feel like you're just going to deck yourself. It's pretty aggressive. Uh, Garen, bring Pal. Alright, I'm feeling okay about this deck now. Wait, what now? Grumgully seems great here. Is the real Cabbage Eater Elk Tears? <laughs> if so, you probably want to message me, dude. Because I actually just asked for an IP ban. Uh, so, <laughs> kind of awkward, man. Elk Tears, dude. <laughs> it's, 
You got you got to know when to draw the line, my man. Oh lord. I hope they don't IP ban you, Elk Tears. Because it's going to be real awkward to explain. Oh, I'm sorry. This one dude, he was uh he he had he was a real low lot in life, so he actually just made six accounts and um you know, there was one other account, and it was actually Elk Tears, who's actually a loyal follower. And, um, you know, that wasn't him. I thought it was him, because he was also making troll accounts. It's okay, though. He was making the good kind of troll accounts. Totally reasonable to explain. <laughs> I should just mod the real cabbage eater. How do I can I like can I like cancel a a complaint? Oh man, good times. God, I opened so many wish claw talismans, it's unbelievable. This pack is also just absolutely terrible for us. Thrill of Possibility is probably not terrible, I guess. Scalding Cauldron, Cauldron has been okay. Spore Cap Spider is fine. I'm going to take the Thrill, I guess. I think I'm just going to mod the real Cabbage Eater. <laughs> 298. Oh, Jesus. Brazen Borrow and a foil. What in the shoot? How much is Brazen Borrow? Brazen Borrow is 12 tickets and I'm getting it like third pick? I guess that's second pick. How much is Foil Emery? 159? Yeah, we're just taking the 12 tickets. Like, sorry guys. I don't I think it's better than a Garen Brig Paladin. What did they take over this? Because there's a foil and a rare. There's two rares, one of which is foil. What did you take over 12 tickets? Oh god, this is insane. Guys, we are 1,000% in the wrong colors right now. God, all the blue cards are better. All the friggin' night cards are better. God. The tree is like, okay. I'd almost rather take a trebuchet over the tree. It's all right. But this is like, we have three inspiring veterans. That doesn't even seem real. Is it possible to just audible into this and splash the red? Probably. Take out Merchant. Take out Skullknocker. We're just splashing red for like these three. I'm okay with that. Another Rose Thorn Acolytes. We already have two. God, the decks we want them, we have... We get three of them. The decks we don't want them, we get three. The decks we want them, we get none. Yeah, there's no way we're taking Fireborn and having four four red sources. When we can barely get three green, three white sources in the previous deck when we needed... Uh, when we had nine sources of white. I guess it's just 2-2. Two, two. Could be Vantress Paladin, but like... Actually, yeah, it's not bad with Rose Thorn Acolytes. Tome Raider. Alright, so I'm feeling good about the blue switch here. I actually do think one Insatiable Appetite is definitely playable. I'm going to take Mad Ratter. Iron Crag Feet. I actually like the way this is turning out. Our splashes are pretty good. 
Sorry, I think it's obvious, but just to clarify, none of those other accounts are me. I had a feeling, buddy. I had a feeling. I actually didn't know this one was you because it's weird to make one. It's weird to, for someone to make six accounts and then you to make just one of those accounts. Like, it's really hard to tell, man. And it's ironic because yours is the one that I was like, well, they're back again. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna report them and request an IP ban. I'm seriously hoping that nothing happens. Even though that's a poor reflection on Twitch, right? Like, I'm, I'm hoping that nothing happens because it's you. But then I'm hoping that something happens because it means that a response is done to the thing that I'm reporting. It's just all, it's a whole to do. Fireborn Knight comes back. How many Skullknock Ogres have we seen in this draft? Like 13? Mystic Sanctuary can actually grab either one of these, which is pretty sweet. Oh yeah, I saw the uh, the Saffron Olive Dragon Storm deck. Oh my god, Murderous Rider again? Holy biscuits. You just pass a murderous ride? That seems terrible, but like... Come on, we're not playing it. It's only like two tickets. I mean, it's got to be better than Queen of Ice or Mara Leaf Rider, right? Like, the MCGO does not have alternate or Eldrain cards. I was really hoping they would. I'm just taking it. I don't care. Lockmere Serpent? That's a card I'm going to splash for. Oh, boy. Oh, man. That seems legit. I'll splash one black off of two Rose Thorn Acolytes. Oh yeah, that's gas. Now I'm actually wishing we took that third Rose Thorn Acolyte. I don't think it's River Turtle. It might be just Queen of Ice. I don't think Giant Opportunity is that great here. Yeah, I'll just take Queen here. I mean, stealing a serpent sounds pretty good. My concern would be that they uh, they kill it and then they can get it back. The only place for a bully is to put them in the trash can. I agree with you, real cabbage eater two ninety eight. Okay, turn into pumpkin and keeper of fables here, and a rose thorn acolyte. Oh dang! I mean, keeper of fables just seems better than turn into a pumpkin, right? guess it's tree folk here and you probably cut wolf's quarry i think i like wolf's quarry a lot with grim gully though hmm. this pack's pretty rough too this pack does nothing for us i guess i'll just take the Beaky boy. And I'll take Mantle. I don't think Mantle's gonna get played, but Scarecrow actually seems Shut playable in take deck. My money. Okay, I'll take the money. The real real cabbage eater 298 donated a dollar. Hey, someone hacked my account and is not pretending to be nice. <laughs> oh dang. Uh, Iron Fortress is two minutes old. So. <laughs> I also like that whoever is, whoever that is is still watching for this long. I really appreciate the views, man. Super nice. 
Oh, that's a late trapped in the tower. Are we just going five color green here? I do really wish I had one golden egg. We could call it self-righteousness. <laughs> um, I don't think we have enough artifacts to justify a moonlit scavengers. I might just take the Gambrig Squire because he's a two drop. Uh, River Turtle. Same thing, two drop. In a perfect world that uh that acolyte comes back but i don't think it's i don't think it's perfect world by any means my friends river turtle can go probably taking on the Fantress paladin as well hmm Actually, this, these aren't that bad. We have Adventure, 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 Adventure. It's not terrible. I like the drawbridge here because I feel like we're actually more of a defensive deck here because we're just trying to assemble our mana and do all these things in the late game. It might just be a Garenberg Squire, actually. I like having two drops, though. I might take out the Wolf's Quarry, actually. That seems fine. One Swamp. Two of these. Shut up and take my money! And then 7-7. Seven, seven. At Elias Official, somebody just created seven new Twitch accounts using any... My Hotmail email address. Does anybody know what this is about? I'm concerned. Oh, man. Poor Elias. 7, 14, 56, 17. That seems good. I don't think I want any of these because our odds of hitting three are not great. Yeah, this seems good. I'm down to clown. I'll keep this hand. We got a two drop. We got a four drop that lets us cast other drops. Drops, drops, drop. Does anyone have a good surface to print out token cards? The right size and rounded edges, that kind of stuff. Um, Not off the top of my head, but I feel like we could ask around and find out. Oh, yeah. Green man off the top is all is all we want here. That's not a green mana at all, but it's okay. Gives a signpost into Grum Gully. Really? I'll just take it. This guy's a 2-4. Shut up and take my money. Five good vibe payday bucks. There's no joke here. <laughs> Josh, you're a good dude, man. I appreciate having you around, buddy. I appreciate having you around, my friend. There's no joke here. <laughs> this is literally just for the good vibes. Yeah, Matt, I haven't seen you in ages, my dude. Okay. So... One, two, we have one, two, three, four mana, so we can go, we can just play Grum Gully. Grummy McGullerson. Add a green.
I mean, having an onslaught of directing gigs since July seems like a pretty good thing to have. I'm just <laughs> laughing at something. Sorry. Oh. Ooh-wee. Hmm. I guess we're going to attack for this many. Do they double block here? Do we insatiable appetite if they do? Probably. Oh, just the one-o. Just the just the onesie boy. <sighs> really? Is this how you're gonna be? Do I really care about the Grumgully here? I think this is actually a fine two for one. I think I'd much rather play Acolyte here. Or uh, rather, charm sleep on this guy. I don't want to take another five. Have you watched El Camino yet? Yes. El Camino was fucking fantastic. Unless they're mana abilities, right? Oh, wow. In general, they just can't be activated? Jeez. Okay. I feel like we're in bad shape here, guys. Okay, I feel like we're in better shape here, guys. I gotta step out for some work stuff for a minute. I'm trusting you to continue the whack-a-mole work. Really appreciate it, Josh. Oh, let's do that. We can play an additional land this turn, so we can go land, land. Acolyte. Might just want to tap this guy down, but I think we just want to play this guy. Yeah, because next turn we can lock Mirror Serpent, which is probably pretty good. I'm just going to go to 5 here and hope they don't disintegrate us. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. God, we have so much mana. 10 mana. Oh, biscuits. Uh, we're going to play this right now because we have this. And we're going to go Rage of Winter on you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we can still cast Garambrig Squire. And keep up Lockmere Serpent. Oh, uh, we still have to pay the mana. So we're not even going to do that then. Forget it. It's not worth it. My mom was right.
Wow, we played all five cards off of the escape to the to the wilds. That's wild. Oh, they're going to just kill something and do me. Wow, that's really good. <sighs> oh, we can actually gain a life, though. That's pretty good, too. <sighs> that's also very good. Wow. Okay. Okay. Land. One, two, three, four. Done. So, this is the black for this guy. One, two, three, one, two, and then we still have, we're tapped, that's actually does, we can do it all. Have no need for red, so we're just gonna pay. Um, one, two, three, and one, two. And we only have one swamp, so we got one life in the chamber. Solid top decks. Sure. All right, so they have no other cards. That's actually great for us. What are you hoping to draw here? Maybe like four or five? So they have three attackers. We have one, two, three, four blockers. I actually forgot this remove the abilities. Otherwise I would have sacked the swamp to gain a life and draw a card because now any removal spell for the Vantress Paladin kills us. Which I do not like. It's rough. Double block. All right. I think we might be dead here. Whenever it attacks, sure, that's fine. <laughs> that's pretty good. Four in the air. We have one, two, three, four creatures that can attack. They have two creatures that can block. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, that should be game. I'm going to assume one, two, three, four. Because they're automatically taking one, then they only have two ground guys that can block. Wow. All right. That game was... I want to say close, but we actually stumbled on mana quite a bit and still came out, came out, came out ahead there.
hold on. I don't, uh, Return to Nature and Felda Pheasant both seem pretty good. I'm gonna take out the Appetite. Eh, maybe, yeah, these are probably just better, right? Oh yeah, this deck was gas. Splashing Escape to the Wild, Splashing Locksmere Serpent, Lockmere Serpent. <laughs> Brazen Borrower, Mad Ratter, which is good with things like Thrill or Tome Raider. Or even Lockmere, you can sack a thing. This is not drawing. Keeper of Fables and Mad Router seems pretty good. Yeah, I'll just play 41 here. What, a Mayhem? Certainly keeping this. This hand seems wonderful. Have you lived the Pied Pepper Mad Ratter dream yet? Not yet. I've lived them separately. I'm added to the constructed loony. This is definitely not constructed. Um, I'm gonna play this because if they play another seven dwarfs, then like I'm, I want to still be able to block it. Hundred percent blocking this. Seven dwarves is like they're not by themselves; they suck. But I'm definitely not uh, desiring to like let them get better. The rest of the way, let's cast you. I don't actually want to play this yet. I kind of just want to keep up, play Garen Briggs Squire, and then cast and just bounce this guy. Because I want to play this on a turn where like we can still play the two lands if we get them. This is actually pretty great. Wow. <laughs> I was going to bounce this guy anyway. You're gonna try to blow me out, my dude? Nah, this guy goes to the trash can. The fact that you get to hit Adamant on time and your five color bullshit is sorry. <laughs> Excellent, yes. I kinda this guy's kind of a pain in the bottom section. I'm just escaping to the wilds, my dudes. Um so, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll have eight mana, so we can actually just play like Scarecrow Grumgully, I guess. That yeah, seems fine. Yeah, that's fine.
Please stop saying Grum Gully unless you mean it. Thank you. I don't know what that means. I think I mean it. I feel like I mean it. Okay, that's probably going to be better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, yeah, okay, so what we can do here, charm sleeve this guy forever, play Grumgully, and we're only losing Scarecrow this way, which is pretty good, and then Queen of Ice this thing. And we still have Brazen Borrow and Queen of Ice in the in the bin along with two cards in hand. It's pretty good. I mean this because this this comes oh it's a human though. Dang it. It's weird because I look at this and the last thing I think is it's a human, but here we are. Oh wow, that's rude. But just fun. <laughs> Cause of course. Cause of course. I'm just in the damage mode right now. Uh, I'm going to cast this guy just to pump this guy. It's a human knight, not a human bird. And we win the match. Our deck is sweet. I will play first. Nope, don't like that. Oh, like that. Oh, we gotta put a card back though. I'll put a forest back. Greedy? Maybe. Watch Wolf getting in there. Well, it's on a bird. It's on like a griffin, Bulamog. <laughs> don't really want to trade this guy for a jousting dummy so I won't that was a good game both both teams fought hard all right Return to nature seems good here because we saw at least two artifacts as the only two things they played. So... Uh, 
I guess we're cutting insatiable appetite. I like insatiable appetite though. I like appetite. I'll just play 41 because I don't care. Because I'm absolutely maniac. Let me also return my Mana Traders cards, which I have borrowed because they have a great subscription service that you guys can get 20% off of if you use the link and promo code down below in the description. Just making sure my Twitch is still here. Yikes. Where's our where's our thing? It's over here. Snap keep. Oh, Elk Tears with the 18 bits? Wow, man. Woo! It's getting hot in here. Watch us draw that swamp and just naturally cast Lockmere Serpent. Where's my Fell the Pheasant when I need it? Oh, I should have played the stupid forest so I can out-muscle next turn. Dang it. If we hit another green. Watch, we're going to draw forest. If we don't, I won't feel bad. But if we do... Son of a biscuit. so tired of being got with this bullshit on the bright side I'd rather trade a Garen Big Swire than have them untap it with Charm Sleep on and get another attack in I guess I don't know that's so dumb <coughs> well back to, to the tap world you go my friend what does this dude do there you go I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'll pop it out for you cause he's got a lot of text I have the wrong one. We good? I think we're good. Hopefully we're good. Alright, this hand's looking not very good, especially with this guy coming down. I really just want a creature here. I wonder if that card can be a construction. I literally brewed up a deck while Nick was here, a blue-black control deck. It's on YouTube. And we went like X1 with it. We went like 4-1 or something. It was actually really sweet. And this was one of our main finishers. And every time we cast it at the opponent's end step, they conceded. I missed one day. Calm down. I'm trying to just tell people about it. Because clearly, if one of the most consistent viewers, Josh VS, does not know about it, other people might not either. So... Wow, they didn't play the ranger? Theoretically, because... They think we have a counterspell up, which is just awesome for us, I guess? I do like that we can actually give this dude haste and activate it um, to outmuscle something if we wanted to this turn. Like, we can go... We can play this with green, blue, blue, and then have green, green, blue, green, 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 blue up, and then out muscle ya boy. Sure. 
I have five cards in hand? That's so many cards. Okie dokie. Sure. God, they're going so wide. <clears throat> Mad Rider seems good here. Maybe? Probably not. I don't even know, dude. If we can start making dudes, it seems good. Ideally, we go Lock, lock Mirror Serpent into Okame Ranger. Okame! Okay. That's a little John. I don't foresee us needing uh Do I just outmuscle this bird? No, because I need an answer for this, right? Three, four, five, six, seven. I four, five, six yeah, that's totally fine. Yes, uh, Matthew Perry actually voiced uh, the Benny, the main, like the the very first character that opens the game. Let's play. Oh god, we have to use this to play Mad Ratter, which just takes down one of our dudes. I don't even think that's great. I kind of just want to kill this. But then this guy is such a bigger threat. I think we want to play Mad Rat. Uh, I think we can pass. <clears throat> All the cards that are going to draw us... I mean, if we draw to Tome Raider next turn, we can just go Mad Rider into Tome Raider, which seems great. Oh, God. Silver Flame. Oh, God. Silver Flame. Yep, it's definitely Silver Flame Ritual, which sucks. Oh, it's this guy. Okay, good. That's just fine. Alright. Alright, all this is fine. I'm actually tempted to kill that jousting dummy just so they have one less guy on the board. But I think we can actually wait until they... Rank the Fallout games worst to first. Um, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna, like, link all of the, like, Brotherhood... This guy can't, like... Alright, they have nobody to give that guy haste. I guess they're like, well, he takes seven here, so I might as well. I don't know if you already answered this, but is there a new friends out? No, and I like really, I'm kind of annoyed by it. Hold on, I got real distracted by the, uh... I 
I got distracted. All right, so like the Brotherhood of Steel game and like Fallout Tactics, like all those like shitty versions, those are at the bottom. Um, and it's really hard for me to rank Fallout One and Two. I've played them both, and that's where my love of Fallout comes from. My number one Fallout game is Fallout New Vegas. That's number one for me. Um, I think Fallout Four is after that, then Fallout Three, then Fallout Two, then Fallout One. I think that's how it would go. And kill your guy, Knight. <laughs> so we have two blockers here. We can go block here, block here. Kill this. We take three, four, five, six. I think we just take one more, right? I'm just going to destroy this. Hope they don't kill us, I guess. I don't even know. Uh, I haven't actually played Fallout 76, so I can't actually put that on my thing. I also... I don't... <laughs> okay. Wow. Return to nature on Jousting Dummy, the turn before they play Circle of Loyalty. That seems good. That seems good. That seems good. I have to assume we're dead here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that's exact C's, right? So we block here, we block here. Yep, cool. Magic is fun and interactive. Fell the pheasant is also coming in. Take out insatiable appetite. Mulligan. Mm, keep. Let's ship. Fell the pheasant. If we can hit two lands and go Mad Router into Tome Raider, that seems fantastic. That's pretty good. I think we're just trading here. Like, oh my god. Jesus Christ. This is amazing. I guess that's fine if that's your turn. Of course, I missed a third land drop, so I can't really advance my board state. Oh, uh, I guess we could have played Tomb Raider, but I'm just going to keep up Brazen Borrower. No, oh, I'm probably just going to bounce that. That seems good.
Land. All right. Living the dream. Tell this guy you can paint with. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Now I want to wait. Oh, the rats also make one. Oh. Seems really good. It's EOT. I have no idea what this is. Uh, not blocking any of these things. No, I get the I get the Pocahontas reference. I just didn't understand why it was said. Two two, two two, two two. <clears throat> that seems good. I'm a fan. Rats are doing work. Yep, that's good. That is good. Oh, okay. Paint with all the colors of the wind, as in my lands. Gotcha. Yep. That's a big boy. So this gotta be a three-three. We can easily double block here and take four from the. <coughs> from the dude. <sighs> Fuck my life. If we hit one land, if we hit one more land on turn, I don't know, seven, um, we could have actually killed this in response, which would have been a fantastic play, but alas, no. Next, they're going to play this guy, make this a 5-5, and we don't have a third green, so we can't actually do any of the things. I still think this is the correct play, even though it's not the best play here. Just easily trade for a Wandermare, I guess. Yeah, I think we're way behind, unfortunately. <clears throat> cool.
five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm just gonna concede here. All right, well. Rob, good games, good games. Yeah, you just had a little too much, missed a little, little couple too few land drops, and uh, that's just the way it goes. I think this hand's fine. One green. We have two things to play. One green for Rose Thorn Acolyte puts us in good shape. Rob, you too, man. Good luck. This guy gets in there. Interesting. We'll just play this. I think bouncing Flutter Fox is not ideal here, although uh, we do have Vantress Paladin on four. Okay, so we don't take three, we take two. That's fine. All right, well. I think the trap our acolyte in the tower. It's really sad. Oh wow, that's really good raisin bar. Sure. Go to 11. So we can bounce this dude and do nothing else. Still probably the, the correct play. And then next turn we can play Lockmere Serpent, that seems good. Oh no, we actually, actually we can bounce it and then play Brazen Borrower, that seems real good.
funny because Varro is very good, like we all expected, but unlimited there. There's so many more busted mythics. It's I, I actually think it's great. Having like a bounce trick and like a... I mean, I, you're right though. I, I see what you're saying. Like it's not like Lockmere Serpent good. We could play Vantress Paladin and then have really good blocks. This guy has flying. Do I want to take three here? Solar Flame? Okay, that's actually fine. All of this is fine. Man, we can cast everything. But right now it's just Serpent Time. Serpent Time. Can only block flyers, right? Okay. Yep, just gonna pass here. We have seven seven blocker. Sure. Three or less. Probably brazen borrower. Yeah, that's fine. <coughs> yep. Oh, Luke, what's going on, my dude? I will take one. And I asked during Fallout, during Fallout chat, but still curious about what your picks are for Vintage Keeper. For the, um, I haven't gone over it. I do agree with Oko and Murderous, uh, Murderous Rider. I think Murderous Rider easily takes this lot of, like, any kind of Hero's Downfall, uh, cube card, for sure. Um. Thank you. Oh man, Josh with the gifted sub. You are awesome. Luke, welcome back, buddy. I'm trying to think of... Just 222 to go. I believe in you, Josh. I believe in you, buddy. I'm trying to think of what other cards would go in Vintage Cube. Maybe Realm Cloak Giant? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, this is 10. Yeah, we'll just leave that guy back still. I don't think we're in any position to really get an epic. Can you convince our board to play you try? It's rough. It's rough. Um, Brace and Borrow, I don't think it's I don't think it's better than like click and cue. Once upon a time. Meh. I could see it. Ugh.
I was actually hoping this would happen. God. Six, seven. Uh, are you gonna outflank? Wow. Okay. So four. So everybody dies. Oh, wow. That's interesting. That's solid. So if they block here, they have to sacrifice their glass casket or doom foretold. Let's get rid of Squire, I guess. I don't know why we're still. Like, I have two, two unblockable bros. Wrinkle is very Wrinkle has a very Liliana type uh <clears throat> it's, 
Howdy for your friendly red subway. Just a reminder to all you happy chat mics that Frank has awesome articles go up every Wednesday at CoolStuffInc.com. So go check it out. I'm back to my Pepper Jack meatball grind. You may now return to your regularly scheduled bar. Man, Super Fritz, you are the hero that we need. Let's bring Return to Nature in again because they have the floaty enchantment and they have Doom Foretold and they have Glass Casket. So. I guess I could take Appetite out. I don't know. How do we end up in four color nonsense? Um, open things like... Uh, just entering the battlefield. Do I have things that care about that? I don't know. It's a long story. I'm trying to, I'm trying to play these games here. There's a lot going on. I have a lot of decisions. Yeah, this is actually fine. That's totally fine. Oh man, can you imagine Tomb Raider? Uh, the red cards, uh, the first... The first, the, the card I opened was the draw five. Like... And then you can play an extra land, and you can play them for the next turn, so... And then we opened Brazen Bar on pack two, and I was like, well, I'm just gonna... Just gonna play that. So then we're base blue green, and then we splash the red and the black. Island. It's not an island. Wow. That's pretty good. And now I can't block either. That's great. Yeah, alright. I think we're done here. Now we'll just cast it normally. Done.
Where are the other Franks? I don't even know what that means. Are there other Franks? You mean like from different dimensions? Different multiverses? Wow. So now you know who gets to survive. What are the odds this is a uh, an outflank? If they have outflank, we're just yep. That's all I need to say. Cool. Done. I think our deck is good. I think our just draws have been rough. But I also think our deck is positioned in such a way that uh, our draws will be rough, so. I think it's Gazorbazorp, not Bazorkazorp, but I could be wrong. <sighs> I also do wonder if Merchant's better than uh, than Queen of Ice, but... Uh, I'll just keep this hand. Frogler, what's going on? I mean, if you don't hit land here, like, it's pretty bad. I would even take a Rose Thorn Acolyte in this, in this position. <laughs> Just gonna take two here. That's a ground, man. That's cool. Literally have nothing to cast. I'll just pass my turn. <sighs> Seems good. 14 lands that are not... 15 lands that could cast something in the deck, uh, including out muscle. I don't think that's great here with no creatures, but. And we hit one of the three red cards. Really? Just talking about both? Fascinating. Okay, Garen Briggs Squire. I guess we're 
kind of maybe sort of getting somewhere maybe probably not I'm watching my phone and just spent a solid minute looking for my phone. That's that seems I'm watching TV, but I can't find my phone. No, just casual attack for seven. Hey, that's pretty good. Not great. Not great though. Out muscle is is a two for one. I guess we can kill this guy a shepherd sure return your ginger brute I guess it's better than not returning your ginger brute all things considered. Yeah, I thought this deck was super sweet, but it feels like we just can't close out the matches. We can win the first game. Because of course you do. But it's also like turn six, and we literally miss two land drops, which sucks, so. There's no reason for it. We have 17 lands, two Rose Veil, Rose Acolytes, or whatever, so. I mean, we could always tap this to give this guy haste and then block, but I still rather get the... Because these guys are just boring. This guy has tricks. I don't know. Because if they get this guy out of the way, then we just... I guess if they have a, have a removal spell, we just die anyway, so... I think that's a little too ambitious for us right now. Oh, wow, that's good. That's a nice one. Woo! Still alive. I'm still alive here. Oh, now we're dead. Oh, okay, cool. That guy's fine. Mm, that guy's also fine currently. What are the odds we hit two lands? Probably pretty good, right? Fingers crossed, guys. Any two lands. Yes. And forest. Okay, now we can play Brazen Borrower. This 
guy doesn't fly though. Maybe we just play Tomb Raider here. Chum block for a turn. That seems better. Because Brazen Bar is not going anywhere. That's also pretty okay. So now we have Vantress and Rose. One, two, three, four. We can play both of those next turn. I mean, ideally they don't go Glass Casket and then... casket <laughs> oh that's wonderful that's just wonderful yep that's really good And of course they have outflank as well to kill our 4-4. Yep, this is just fantastic. <sighs> Sometimes you have it all. This doesn't give flying. Oh god, I always think it gives flying, even now. I was like, oh, it just gives flying. Five, six, seven, eight. So we have three, four, five, six, seven. We have to deal with all of these things. This is a no-brainer. Uh, okay, destroy an enchantment. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then we have two things we can play. Yeah, that's not going to do it. That still only deals with three creatures, not four, and then we're just dead. So... Yep. Yeah, we tap the flyer, we play the queen, and then we're dead. Yep. Just a little too close. Unfortunate. Thank you guys for watching. Our deck seems sweet, but not sweet enough. I will see you guys next time. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on coolstuffinc.com, patreon.com, slash franklapore, twitch.tv, slash franklapore, and manatraders.com. You can find all the links and the promo codes in the description below, so check those out, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.